Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping in with Spad.next and the new 0.9.13.39 release. Uh, finally, with this one, we've got the updated Elvar bridge that must be installed, uh, and it follows the new methodology, including no need to enable it as an extra option. So first thing you want to do when you see that message come up that you need to install it, well, you need to first make sure that the sim is not running. This is, of course, going to install something in your community folder. And as we all know, you have to restart the sim after you add things to your community folder. Now, you head on over to the settings cog, come over to the configuration wizard, and go ahead and click on the install spad.next Elvar bridge. Uh, if you have FSX or P3 installed, you'll have one for it. And if you have X-Plane, you'll also have one for X-Plane. So here we're just going to do Microsoft Flight Sim because this one needs the new 4.1 bridge. When you click on it, you'll see that spad.next is going to install the Elvar bridge. As you can see, even though you upgraded the application and that auto runs the installer, it does not install these automatically for you. Uh, it's going to search and knows where your community folder is. Uh, you're going to go ahead and click next. And of course, I want to install it. I click finish and it is now complete. Now we want to go ahead and fire up the sim. So now we got Microsoft Flight Sims fired up. We have loaded into the H jet because it's got lots of LVARs. So we're loaded up. And now what we want to do is go back in to spad.next and quickly look at things to make sure everything is up and running. So here at the bottom, you can see that we are connected to the simulation, that it's running. It can even identify the current plane that we are loaded into. And of course, it's switched to the same uh, setup uh, that we use with it. Now, on top of that, we can click here on the status page, and this is going to show us that we're connected to Microsoft Flight Sim and that our LVAR is connected and shows that uh, we also have to make sure that Sim, Sim Connect is connected. Uh, so, of course, those are there. Now, under application settings, uh, you'll see that we've got our simulations. So, Sim Connect, uh, there is nothing for LVARs that need to be configured any longer. Uh, that was a previous version. It's always going to be configured because now with Microsoft Flight Sim, you pretty much need that LVAR bridge. So many things rely on it between H events and LVARs. Uh, you just, you gotta have it. So status, status tells us that it's connected. We can go one step further and we can head over to the add-ons and we can go to our data monitor and we can go ahead and we can hit the update LVARs. So if we load our LVARs, so if we hit the add button, it will add all LVARs in. And right away, we can click on the variables. We can see them all. You can click on number of changes. So we can cycle through a number of changes. So here we can see the frame counter going quickly. Uh, we can see the internal main loop going quickly. And then here is final random, which is definitely an LVAR that is in the HJet. You can see a bunch of the other HJet ones labeled. And of course, the working title, uh, WTAP, which has to do a lot with the G3000. So there you go. We know that it is installed and it is working for us. So that's it. That's everything you got to do to get this LVAR bridge running. And if you could do me a favor, that would be hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't and come along with us next time as we get into the new updates for axes, because there's new conditional axes. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.